Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Ship propulsion using wind power has a long history, with sail technology dating back thousands of years. The basic principle behind sailing is to harness the power of the wind to propel the ship forward. Sailors adjust the sails and the angle of the ship to catch the wind effectively, allowing the vessel to move in the desired direction. Old school sail ships, like the Nordless Sail Cargo Ship, represent a traditional form of maritime transportation that predates the widespread use of engines. Sail power is environmentally friendly, but it is highly dependent on weather conditions. The 19th century saw the rise of steam power, leading to the development of paddle steamers, which ushered in the Industrial Revolution. Decades later, diesel engines became the primary source of ship propulsion with their superior efficiency, compact size, and lower fuel consumption being an attractive and practical choice for powering vessels of various sizes and applications. The mid-20th century saw the emergence of gas turbines and nuclear power as alternative maritime propulsion technologies with known high power density and rapid response times. In recent decades, electric propulsion has gained traction as a promising and environmentally friendly alternative to traditional marine propulsion methods. Likewise, Liquefied natural gas and biodiesel emerged as a cleaner burning alternative to conventional bunker oil, offering reduced sulfur oxide and nitrogen oxide emissions. Wind propulsion technologies, harnessing the power of wind to supplement or even replace traditional fossil fuel-based propulsion systems, are gaining significant traction in the maritime industry as a means of reducing fuel consumption and emissions. Mitsubishi Corporation's Pyxis Ocean Wind Wings is a pioneering project that aims to prove the effectiveness of wind propulsion technology in reducing fuel consumption and emissions from shipping. The project involves the installation of two 123-foot-tall wind wings, developed by Yara Marine Technologies. Such rigid sails are made of composite materials and are designed to work in conjunction with the ship's traditional propulsion system, supplementing its power and reducing fuel consumption. The Norse Power Rotor Sail Solution is a wind propulsion technology that can be installed on existing marine vessels to reduce fuel consumption and emissions. It consists of a large vertical cylinder that rotates to generate lift, providing thrust to the vessel. The rotor sail can be deployed or retracted as needed, and it can work in conjunction with the ship's traditional propulsion system.
our technology, the router sail solution is a modernized version of the Flettner router, a spinning cylinder that uses the Magnus effect to harness wind power in order to generate forward thrust. Sky sails are a type of wind propulsion technology that utilizes large kites or wing-like structures to harness wind energy and provide supplemental thrust to ships. They operate by tethering the kites to the ship's mast and controlling their position and shape using onboard computers or automated systems. Adjusting the kite's orientation and geometry can optimize wind power capture and generate additional thrust, reducing the ship's reliance on traditional propulsion systems. Examples of this include the Beluga Project Sky Sails, using a computer-controlled kite system on a heavy cargo vessel, and the Sea Wing by Air Seas, a kite-powered propulsion system featuring a large wing with an area of up to 10,000 square feet. Solar ships, also known as solar sail ships or solar powered ships, are vessels that utilize solar energy to propel themselves. They harness the power of the sun through solar panels or photovoltaic cells, converting sunlight into electricity to power the ship's propulsion system. Solar ships offer a promising alternative to traditional fuel-based propulsion methods, promoting sustainability and reducing the environmental impact of maritime transportation. Their electric propulsion systems generate minimal noise pollution, making them suitable for sensitive marine environments. Solar propulsion technology can be applied to various ship sizes and types, from small boats to large cargo vessels. And ongoing research and development efforts focus on improving the efficiency and cost effectiveness of solar panels, battery technology, and electric propulsion systems. One of the greatest examples of such vessels is the MS Tyrannor Planet Solar, which is a catamaran solar-powered boat that holds the record as the world's largest solar-powered boat. It was unveiled in 2010 and was built by the Nariman Yachtbau Shipyard in Kiel, Germany. The boat was designed by New Zealand naval architect Craig Looms and financed by the Swiss entrepreneur Emo Strahr. The Planet Solar Deepwater Expedition was a scientific expedition that used the MS Turan or Planet Solar to study the Gulf Stream. It was carried out in collaboration with the University of Geneva and took place from May 23rd to August 31st, 2013. The primary objective of the Deepwater Expedition was to measure the physical, chemical, and biological parameters of the Gulf Stream and its influence on climate and weather patterns. Understanding the dynamics of the Gulf Stream is crucial for climate research and improving climate models. The expedition took place in 2013 and followed a route along the Gulf Stream, covering a distance of 5,000 miles in three stages. A transatlantic crossing from St. Martin to Miami, its scientific mission along the stream, and a return to London. 
This voyage had an expedition team that included 20 scientists and researchers from UNIGE, supported by several organizations, including the Swiss government, the Swiss National Science Foundation, and the United Nations Environment Program. The maintenance process of the planet Solar was an integral part of ensuring its successful operation and longevity. As the world's largest solar-powered boat, Planet Solar requires a comprehensive maintenance plan to maintain its structural integrity, optimize its solar energy conversion efficiency, and ensure the reliability of its propulsion systems. Major modifications include changing the surface propellers, enhancing the rudder, and applying an anti-fouling layer to prevent the proliferation of algae and shells on the floats and maintain optimal performance. Liquefied natural gas has emerged as a promising alternative fuel for container ships, offering significant environmental advantages over traditional heavy fuel oil. LNG-powered container ships are gaining traction in the maritime industry due to their ability to reduce harmful emissions, including sulfur oxides, nitrogen oxides, and particulate matter while contributing to lower greenhouse gas emissions. This improvement in environmental performance is attributed to advancements in LNG storage tanks, LNG fuel supply systems, and LNG engine technology. This increasing adoption of LNG-powered container ships is driven by stringent environmental regulations, fuel cost considerations, and the development of LNG bunkering facilities at major ports. And with continued growth in demand and expanded LNG infrastructure, LNG-powered container ships are expected to play an increasingly important role in the future of maritime transportation contributing to a more sustainable maritime industry. The construction of a powerful LNG engine like the WinGD X92DF, the world's most potent two-stroke dual-fuel engine ever built, is a highly sophisticated process. With a remarkable power output of 63,840 kilowatts, it's equivalent to the power generated by 60 wind turbines. Winterthur Gas and Diesel collaborates with ship owners to design a powerful LNG engine that meets specific requirements. Precision machining and casting of engine parts commence including cylinders, pistons, crankshafts, camshafts, and other vital components. These components are crafted from high-quality materials for super durability and performance. Individual components are assembled into sub-assemblies which are then integrated to create the complete engine, including fitting and connecting various parts, piping systems, fuel injection systems, and control systems. The LNG engine is seamlessly integrated into the vessel's propulsion and power generation system. It is connected to the ship's electrical and mechanical systems, ensuring it operates harmoniously with its requirements. 
Then, a team of engineers and technicians conducts commissioning to fine-tune and test the engine under actual operating conditions. The maritime industry is undergoing a transformative shift towards more sustainable and environmentally friendly propulsion technologies. Driven by the need to reduce harmful emissions and mitigate the impact of shipping on climate change. Various energy sources, including wind, solar, and LNG, are gaining traction as promising alternatives to traditional fossil fuels, each offering unique advantages and challenges. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.